Let's talk about using our most basic drawing materials. Pencils, colored pencils, and crayons. Pencils are great for drawing because if I make a mistake, I can erase. I usually want my pencil to have a nice sharp point. So if my pencil's not quite sharp enough, the first thing I can do is sharpen it. Here's my pencil sharpener. There's a space to insert my pencil. And so I'm gonna put the only the front end of my pencil. I never sharpen the back of my pencil because there's important information that I need to be able to see. So I'm going to insert the front of my pencil into the sharpener and I'm going to twist it towards the sharpening blade. I usually sharpen over a container to hold my trash so that when I'm all finished, I can just dump this out in the wastebasket. Now my pencil is nice and sharp and ready to draw. Just like I only sharpen my drawing pencil on the pointed end, I'm only going to sharpen my colored pencils on the pointed end. That's because they also have important information on the back. This color looks like red, but it's actually red-orange, which the back end tells me. This is the color red. Do you see how similar they look? That's why it's so important that I only sharpen on the pointed end. When I'm drawing, I keep all of my pencils in front of my paper on the table or in the container that they came from. If I'm not using a color, I know I can keep it in the container because I won't need it. If I think I will use a color, I can keep it in front of me, but I make sure it stays in front of my paper so it doesn't roll off onto the floor. Now let's draw. If I press soft, my pencil will make light marks. Do you see that mark there? If I press firm with my pencil, press hard with my pencil, it makes a darker mark. Which mark do you think is easier to erase? The light mark or the dark one? Let's find out. The lighter mark was much easier to erase. The darker mark still left a bit of pencil on my paper, which means I would have to find another way to hide that mistake. So make sure when you're drawing that you're using a gentle hand until you know you want to keep your marks. Now let's talk really quickly about crayons. Crayons fresh out of the box are nice and new. It's a whole crayon with a nice sharp point. They're so much fun to draw with, but they won't stay this way forever. One thing you can do to help care for your crayons is make sure that they don't fall off onto the floor because that will make them more likely to break. You can also make sure that you use a gentle hand when you're drawing, just like when we press soft or hard with our pencils to make light or dark marks. You can make your crayon look lighter or darker, but know that the harder you color or draw, the more likely your crayon is to break. So try and be gentle with the way that you use them. So I'm just going to really quickly draw a shape. And if I press really, really softly, I can make light marks with my crayon. If I press a little harder, it's a medium darkness. And if I press really hard, then I will get the full brightness of the color.
look at the way I colored this heart versus this one. This one to me looks a little messy because it has a lot of white spaces. When you're coloring, make sure you take your time to fill all the space neatly. I can slow my hand and make my marks close together until all the space is filled. There, doesn't that look better? A lot of my friends get really disappointed when they have crayons that are broken or they aren't so sharp anymore. But you can use those crayons in other creative ways. One thing that I love to do is maybe take the wrappers off and you can use the side of the crayon to make broader marks. Let me show you what that looks like. However you use your crayons, I encourage you to be creative and come up with new techniques. One last thing we should check is the eraser test for crayons. Do crayons erase like pencils do? My crayon did smear a little bit, but it didn't erase. So make sure you start with pencil first if you're worried about making mistakes. One last thing, always make sure you put your materials away correctly back in the container they came from when you're finished using them. That helps to make sure your materials will last a long time and help keep your space clean.